Do you want to improve your artwork but you're not sure where to begin? Well in this video I'm going to talk you through some of the best art books to improve your skills. I've done the research so you don't have to into which books are going to give you a solid foundation in your understanding of the fundamentals of art. These are mostly technical books that focus heavily on art education to help you improve your art skills. If you want to skip straight to the book's flip-throughs, I'll add it in the timeline. But for now, I'm going to speak really briefly about how best to use these books to improve your art skills. So why should you use technical art books when there are so many online resources available? Well, using multiple sources of information can help concrete those key ideas in your mind. I find I learn so much better if I mix things up with a bit of variety. So how should you use these books? Work through them little by little. Go through one topic at a time. And when you have finished that topic, the most important thing to do is practice. Approach them like a workbook where you can. A lot of them are filled with practice exercises for you to carry out. We need to be able to apply these learned concepts to our own artwork. It is so tempting to just binge on art learning information, but that's not the most effective way of learning. I'm guilty. I've done it. I've spent three hour sessions watching art videos on YouTube and not practice the thing afterwards. Just binging on art tutorial videos, for example, can give us the Ill illusion that we're improving and make us feel good in the short term. However, in the long term, we're not actually putting these skills into practice so our artwork's not gonna improve. So for now, if you spend about 25% of your time researching and learning, you need to spend the other 75% actually practicing that skill that you're trying to improve. So for example, 15 minutes learning, 45 minute practice. And actually it should really be more like 10% learning, 90% practice. And as you become even more advanced, the amount of practice would grow even further. For these books that I've bought, as a general rule of thumb, if they are full of colorful illustrations, I've bought them physically. If they're just black and white, I've bought them digitally. So let's dive into the books. And if there are any key books you think I've missed, please put them in the comments below. Just go get the books. God. These would be said books. We have Art Fundamentals, the second edition by 3D Total Publishing. This book covers the art fundamentals. It includes light and colour, perspective, shape and depth, composition, storytelling within a single image, and how to convey emotions in your artwork, as well as anatomy. The artwork here is mostly digital, but there are some traditional and also a lot of pencil drawings, particularly for the anatomy section. The ideas here apply regardless of your medium of choice, but it's mostly aimed at concept and digital artists. There are lots of beautiful examples of artwork from the gaming and film industries in this book. It also goes into detail of why the images work well based on their use of the art fundamentals, like composition, colour and light, for example. There are lots of examples of different artists' work in this book. It really is truly beautiful. I really like at the end of each section, there is a page called Fundamentals Applied, which gives a detailed case study of an artwork where the artist talks you through their entire creative process. Overall, I feel like this is a really good start for beginners in understanding the fundamentals of art. Colour and Light by James Gurney, A Guide for the Realist Painter. If you want a deep dive into colour, this book covers it all for you. James Gurney is the creator of Dinotopia, which is jam-packed with beautiful, imaginative storytelling. This book really is the manual on understanding how to use colour in your artwork, particularly for storytelling. It conveys so many aspects of colour and lighting. For example, it covers shadow types, light sources, it totally rethinks the colour wheel, it looks at different pigments and their light fastness, as well as colour relationships like triads, monochromatic schemes, warm and cools. There is so much depth to this book. It even goes into atmospheric effects, which can help add emotion and feeling to your image. This is the book that you will use for reference time and time again. Imaginative Realism. How to Paint What Doesn't Exist, also by James Gurney. My best way to describe this book is just pure fun. This book really takes a step away from the fundamentals of art and focuses on just how to be creative and create imaginative artworks. It's also about making your artwork believable, even if it's all fantasy images. The reason I think this book is brilliant for beginners is that it also includes a section on preliminary sketches. It will talk you through how to develop a concept from an idea 
all the way to a finished piece by utilising specific techniques such as thumbnail sketches, value studies, storyboarding and colour experiments, all leading to a better final artwork. He also really focuses on researching your subject to help you portray that convincing story with your image. This is definitely a book to get your creative juices flowing. Keys to Drawing, Bert Dodson In this book, the author breaks down drawing topics into lessons, which he calls keys. He then presents these as step by step, so it's really easy to follow. He names 55 keys to drawing, which is quite a lot. But the reason why I think this is so helpful is because it has so many actionable exercises which really encourage practice. Its aim overall is to help you draw confidently no matter the subject you're drawing. It goes into some detail on using measuring techniques and making confident marks on the page. It also emphasises drawing from the shoulder and elbow for controlled lines. Fundamentally, this book aims to help you draw more accurately from life. The Complete Book of Drawing Essential Skills for Every Artist by Barrington Barber. A strong name, isn't it? Barrington Barber. This is an alternative, or ideally an addition, when using the Keys to Drawing book by Bert Dodson. I really like this book as it's filled with lots of exercises to practice. It is a chunk of a book which can feel a little overwhelming, but it takes you all the way from beginner to more advanced drawing techniques. It is a black and white book, but it is filled to the brim with pencil and pen drawings. I think this book does need to break down the drawing stages a little clearer, but paired with other books I've mentioned, I think it can add a lot to your learning by adding those additional practice exercises. Perspective Made Easy. This is a black and white book filled to the brim with drawings. Ernest Norling is like the daddy of perspective. He really simplifies teaching perspective into an easy digest format. This book is a really good beginner point for perspective. It teaches horizon lines, vanishing points and basic techniques to construct buildings and objects in perspective. It also touches on shadows and shading, as well as placing figures and objects in perspective drawing, which I found particularly helpful. This book is quite repetitive, but I think that's deliberate to help the information sink in. This really will give you a good basic understanding of perspective. I think this book follows on really well from Ernest Norling's book. I'm waiting for my Amazon delivery of this book, so I'm not actually able to show you a flick through. The delivery driver has really struggled to find my house, and I have to go to about five different neighbours to get parcels sometimes. Uh, I'm not dissing my postman, though. My postman is awesome. His name's Neil. I have a really good chat with him. Uh, you don't need to know this, so back to the book. So this book by Scott Robertson focuses on technical drawing and design and really simplifying complex objects into simple shapes. It focuses more on complex perspective techniques as well as using, for example, perspective grids. It's quite step by step, so it should be a really good resource for choosing more practice exercises from that are more complex forms of perspective. I quite like that the subject focus of this book seems to be more complex as well, such as planes and cars instead of the typical cities and houses that you see in other perspective books. This is definitely one to consider for furthering your understanding of complex perspective. Frame Dink Drawing and Composition for Visual Storytellers by Marcos Matthew Mester. Sorry if I butchered your name. The key message behind this book is composition with an emphasis on storytelling. It focuses on how understanding composition is important in getting your ideas across, as well as how it makes illustrations engaging to the viewer. Fundamentally, it is about composing a single image and how to arrange the elements in that image, as well as the lighting with purpose to portray the emotion you're trying to get across. It also touches on how to compose for continuity if you're doing, for example, multiple related artworks. The examples are so fantastic throughout this book, you can understand them without even reading the text. And another two books that are in my to buy pile are Frame Perspective Volumes 1 and 2 by the same author as Framed Inc. The first volume focuses in detail on perspective, and the second volume covers shadow and characters. I'm waiting to buy these until I finish both Perspective Made Easy and How to Draw by Scott Robertson.
Beyond Art Fundamentals, A Guide to Emotion, Mood and Storytelling for Artists. This book follows on from the Art Fundamentals book by 3D Toto Publishing. It differs in that it is deeper. It looks at how artists combine the techniques of the fundamentals of art into a finished piece. Each chapter has a theme or an emotion and focuses on how the mood or feeling of a piece makes the artwork really impactful. There are 16 sections in total. Each section will take you through a concept from start to finish, from the research and thumbnails, through the further development, all the way to the finished image. The artwork in this book is just so beautiful and inspiring. Again, it's digital artwork. As I mentioned with the Art Fundamentals book, these ideas can be used by all artists in all mediums. Anatomy for Artists by Sarah Simlet. There are so many books on figure drawing anatomy, it was really hard to whittle them down. Understanding anatomy is really important for figure drawing accurately. Why this book drew me in is because it has lots of high quality photos and diagrams, not just drawings. There are actual photos of real body parts, even the genitals, shock horror. So many anatomy books skip the genitals like they don't even exist. They just have these like Barbie doll groins. Anyways, I digress. This book shows you muscle groups and skeletal structure, but isn't totally overwhelming like some anatomy books I've looked at. It also has practical drawing lessons on how to draw different parts of the body. The overlays in this book are like almost a tissue paper, and they're really lovely at showing the skeletal anatomy on top of real body parts. It would be nice if there were muscle overlays, but we can't have it all in life. Overall, I feel this is a great starting point on anatomy for beginners and beyond. If you wanted something more detailed, you could go for Classic Human Anatomy by Valerie Winslow, which I will be purchasing when I find a cheap enough secondhand copy. Figure drawing for all it's worth. There's a lot of incredible Lomas books, but the first one I'm going to focus on is figure drawing for all it's worth. Lomas breaks down figure drawing in a simple to understand way. He clearly explains his method on how to really see the figure and construct it on paper in the correct proportions. He also gives plentiful examples of different poses, highlighting the full range of movement of the human body. Another thing he's really good at is explaining how to use perspective to create realistic looking figure drawings. And he has a section for both nudes and clothed figures, as well as touching on shading as well. Some people say this book is outdated because of the drawing style, but I say it's a classic. I will also be investing in other Lomas books, particularly the one on hands and the head. Figure drawing, design and invention. I feel like this book follows on really well from the Lomas book. A lot of anatomy and figure drawing books are all very technical, but this book really breaks it down into looking at the body as masses and landmarks. Firstly, it focuses on simplifying anatomy into form and volume, which is quite a simple to understand approach compared to, for example, an anatomy book. He does delve into muscle groups like an anatomy book would, but he does so in a colour coded and really bright way. And I think this is really good at helping us highlight the form under the skin when we are trying to draw it. I think pairing this with an anatomy book gives any beginner a really good foundation to get started in figure drawing. And there we have it. Those are all my top books for beginners and beyond. I really hope this video has been helpful. Good luck with your art practice and I'll see you in the next video.